Hello, it is July 6th, 2012, and I am just going to give you an update of some plants growing in my office. I've generally replaced much of the uh, plants since my last update with Streptocarpus. So here is a Streptocarpus roulette azure. And this is a Streptocarpus that I grew from seed. It has a yellow throat. Seed is from uh, Streptocarpus Jackie. It's open pollinated. And here are some Gloxinas or Syningia speciosus. The blossoms are purple. This is the Syningia leucotrica. It usually has the uh, gray, hairy leaves, but they say as it gets older. The uh, leaves become less gray, and it's not even a year yet, but it's uh, lost a lot of its gray hairiness to leaves. Here is the Smithicadonia Heartlands Joy. It was in full bloom a couple of months ago, and I let it dry out, and it has happened like this. So I think it's going into its dormancy. I think I've learned don't let it dry out and I've actually found that it's this plant is very hard to groom because of all of the uh, blooms that it has so I'm kind of okay with it going dormant but now I know in the future don't let it dry out here's a Smithyantha Vivian's gift I have set seeds for it. That's a seed pod right here. Some other ones drying out. Some more seed pods right there. It's doing pretty well actually. It's not as large as the Smithiantha Big Dots Rule. Again, it was in full effect last a couple months ago. And I have set seed with it. I think these are self-crosses. I would donate this to the Gisneria Society Seed Fund. You have a new bloom stock in the back. And the other four bloom stock here. I think these seeds are crossed with uh, Vivian's gift. If you look at the growing habit, it is growing towards the light, sort of unruly. It grew much better when it was under the direct light of my um, grow lights at my house, in my apartment, so under the plant stand. But it outgrew the plant stand, so I left growing it at work in the windowsill. And this is how it stretches out. Back in the back, we have Smithiantha multiflora as a species. And I have crossed it with, I believe, Big Dots Rule. I'm going to self it as well to donate some seeds to the seed fund. But that's it. So I have three Smithianthus. I probably won't grow the same three next year. I kind of get excited about expecting new blooms. I don't, once I've seen the blossoms, I don't really care so much about it anymore. So I'm going to give some rhizomes away to the people in my local club and also self them and give those to the Gisneria Society. In the back we have a Syningia. Speciosa, it's a slipper hybrid. It's not a bloom anymore. We have the Syningia Gotata right there. And we have a Sherita. It is Stardust. That's just the update. Most things are setting seed. I've also I've already gotten some seed off these as well. That I've bagged up. Oh, and this right here, this is uh Achimenes Longiflora. I'm trying to create intergeneric hybrids, so you're going to see a seed pod right now. You see it, if it focuses right here with Big Dot's Rule and another one with Vivian's Gift right there. Here we go. That's a nice shot of it. Alright.
Again, I think this would have grown much quicker and better under consistent light from my plant stand. But I just kept it in the office, why not? That is my July update. Let I have to give this one a name. But I like the yellow throat and the leaves. And that's it.